Today's video topic is the best logic paradox of all time. If you think you got a paradox better than this one, post it in the comments below. And if it's too complicated to explain, uh, maybe upload a video or link me to a video of it. The paradox is as follows. Suppose you're on a game show and there are two envelopes. Each of these envelopes contains an unknown amount of money. But what you do know is that one envelope has twice as much money as the other envelope. Now the game show host lets you pick an envelope and open the envelope. And suppose you open the envelope and it has $100 inside it. Now the game show host gives you the option. Would you like to take this envelope or would you like to switch to the other envelope? The paradox is as follows. The other envelope must contain either $50 or $200. In the event that it contains $50, you will lose only $50 by switching. But in the event that it contains $200, you will have gained $100 by switching. You have a 50% chance of losing $50 and a 50% chance of gaining $100. Therefore, it makes sense to switch because your expected gains are higher. Suppose you had selected the second envelope. Well, this envelope must contain either $50 or $200. If it contained $50, you would have reasoned the first envelope contains $25 or $100 and it would have made sense to switch. And if the second envelope contained $200, you would have reasoned that the first envelope contains $400 or $100 and you would have also reasoned that it's logical to switch. How can it possibly be profitable to switch no matter which envelope you pick? That doesn't make any sense. If you want to try to solve the problem, then pause the video because I'm going to explain what I think is the solution now. Now I've looked up a lot of solutions to this uh, problem and I think that my friend's explanation is actually the best and it's really easy because it doesn't involve a lot of math. Now um, when we look at the two envelopes, uh, one contains twice as much as the other. So let's call uh, envelope 1 x and let's call envelope 2 2 x. In the event that you draw um, envelope 1, you will have gained x by switching to envelope 2. And in the event that you drew envelope 2, you will have lost x by switching to envelope 1. Thus, you're, uh, you have a 50% chance of gaining x and you have a 50% chance of losing x and it doesn't make uh, sense to switch or unless you just want to. <laughs> At the same time, if we draw envelope 1 and it contains $100, then envelope 2 must have $200 or $50. And this mathematics seems to be contradicting the first explanation. So which explanation is right? The correct explanation is the mathematics of x and 2x is the correct math. And the paradox explanation is simply just the wrong mathematics. And where it tricks you is this. If you drew the first envelope and it contains $100 and after drawing the first envelope we randomized the second envelope again so it either contains 200 or 50 then this would be the correct mathematics but we don't randomize the second envelope after you've already drawn the first so that is simply just an incorrect way of looking at things let's put a finite amount of money in the envelopes just so we can confirm that this is true in fact experimentally um, might be the easiest way to find out which mathematics is correct. Simply just take two envelopes and uh, put, a, put uh, twice as much money in one as the other and uh, draw out the data, right? Make a chart and you'll find that your gains are exactly the same as your losses. Okay, so let's use 100 in the first envelope and 200 in the second. If you drew the one that had 100, you would gain $100 by switching. And if you drew the one that had 200, you would have lost $100 by switching. So by switching, it's uh, not profitable or unprofitable. So this comes back to the question I always ask. And the question I ask is, um, how do we know that logic isn't broken? How do you know that when you add one plus one, every 27 trillionth time you do it, you actually get 50? How do you know that logic works? Um, and if you can find a paradox, then does that uh, disprove uh, logic? 
So I always have a saying to answer this question, and my saying is you can't think outside the box when your mind is the box. So I think that uh, regardless of if logic is right or not, I think we will always rationalize it to be right because the tools of rationality are logic itself. If you like this video, share it, subscribe, and if you have a video request of your own, leave it in the comments below. And if you got a paradox, post that down in the comments too. We want to find uh, the world's best paradox, so keep sharing this until you can find one that's harder than this one.